You're supposed to pray. Give me that Matthew 6. Huh? You're supposed to pray that night. You should be praying every night, every morning. And you should understand and know the contents of that prayer, man. You understand? Because the prayer is heavy. It's the baddest prayer out. Give me, uh, give me Luke 18, 1. All right, read this. Matthew 6, 9. Matthew 6 and 9. After this man is therefore pray. After this man, this is where the most I tell you we're supposed to pray. Read it. Our Father which are in heaven. Our Father which are in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Read it. Thy kingdom come. Come on. Thy will be done. Uh huh. Earth as it is in heaven. So his kingdom is going to come and his will is going to be done in earth. The same, same way as in the heaven. The heavens are not mixed up. They're not blinded to how the Lord wants things to go. Read on. Matthew 6 and 11. Yes. Give us this day our daily bread. Now you want the Lord to feed you. Give us this day our daily bread. Hold that. Read it, huh? Luke 18, 1. 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. That men are always to pray. He's supposed to always pray. How you going to be there if you don't know you didn't know? I got over 20 years I didn't know. Ignorant. I never prayed. My parents didn't teach, but we didn't go to church. So I didn't know. No big thing. As soon as the Lord makes me know, I, I need to pray. I need to be a, I need to pray. Read it again, huh? Luke 18 and 1. Yes. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. And not to faint. Give me wisdom in Psalm 13. Read it, huh? Matthew 6 and 12. Come on. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. So the most I tell you, be angry, be angry, and sit not, and let not the sun go down upon thy wrath. Why? Because when you go to bed, you're asking for forgiveness for yourself. You want forgiveness for yourself. So how, you, how come you can't forgive the people that sin against you? Or that wrong you? You got to let it go. You got to let it go. If you want the Jews from on high, you gotta let it go. Read it out. Matthew 6 and 12. Yes. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Right. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. That's how this thing should go. That's when we should be locked it down. All right, brother. All right, nice, nice. That's, how the, that's what this word is about, man. Everybody's supposed to know this prayer. Brothers supposed to be praying. Brothers supposed to know their nationality. Brothers and sisters supposed to know who they are. That's the problem. The answer in the Bible, but well, nobody don't read it. All the Negroes got Bible. All the Puerto Ricans got Bible. Look at the sign here, man. All these people got Bibles in their house. The Negroes are the Judah. But they don't even know. Every time the Bible's talking about them, they don't, but they don't know their name. These Negroes. The West Indian, Negroes, the Benjamites, in the Caribbean. Next Negroes in the Caribbean, the Levites. The, the, <coughs> excuse me. Simeon, the Dominicans, the Simeon. They in the Caribbean, Simeon, Guatemala, Central America. The Puerto Ricans in the Caribbean, the Nazis in the Caribbean, the Cubans, Dad, North American Indians right here in America. The Cuban, the Seminoles in the Everglades in Florida. Naturally, the Argentinian, the Chile, South America. Colombia, Uruguay, South America, and the Mexicans in Central America. These are the 12 lost tribes of Israel that have been scattered throughout the earth for their disobedience, man. So they wonder why, why, why the Negroes look so good, why they sing so good, why they dance so good, who can't do these things like they do it. But they don't even know who they are. They don't even know who they are. Hold what you got. Read this. What else you got? Say, John, you finished this? I want to down all the way. Hold that. Leave this out. Give me Malachi 2. We'll going to start with 2 and 1. This there. Malachi 2 and 1. Because this is what we're going to bring this out for the preachers. Because it's all about the same, same zone, man. We're still on the preachers. You know, like this thing now about the preachers. Stop. All right, good. All right, all right, good. Malachi 2 and 1. Right. And now, all ye priests, this commandment is for you. Check this out. This is directly to the cats supposed to be preaching this word. Supposed to put this Bible out properly. The most I said this commandment is for you. Big time. Give me Jeremiah 13, 3. Right? Give me Hosea 5 and 1. We're going to run these down line upon line. Because this commandment is for the priest. That's how this thing go. 
Hold what you got. Read Isaiah 916 real quick. Alright, you got the truth. You give me that. Hold this John. Give me 916 Isaiah. 1316. Has the scripture said, oh, this commandment is for you, the priest of the Most High Power. Whosoever called himself a priest unto the Lord. Who got the Bible? And what them cats say? Them cats say, we don't say nothing about the gathering of Christ or, 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 or a lion body. They say, we don't have nothing to say about the gathering of Christ or a lion body. For the record, this is the congregation that we congregate, we, we fellowship with. We fellowship with these brothers in Philly. Brothers that, 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 that got the Bible like we got the Bible. Brothers that are standing in the street in Philly and preaching the Bible like we are. Right? Oh, what, what you got? What you got here? Isaiah 9, 16, Jeremiah. Read it. Isaiah 9, 16. But there's a problem. Read it. For the leaders of this people caused them the earth. Right, the leaders of this people caused them the earth. The people that lead them, or the leaders that, that lead the people, cause them to screw up. Because they follow them they, they lead. What they tell them when they preach not the Bible. And you see all these people in the Bible, but who's telling the people in the Bible that the woman is unclean once a month? And she can't come to the church. Did they tell you that in the Bible? You didn't know nothing about that? I am lost. Well, that's how it goes. But women, I don't know that one. But women do have a monthly situation. Yeah. Every month they got a situation. And the Lord said they must not come to the church, man. Unclean. Stay separate. You understand? But that's not going to put that out in the churches. They let the women get understand and preach in that state. Does that make sense? The Lord not accepting uncleanness, man. He don't want that. He tell a woman don't even preach, man. Read that again, huh? Isaiah 9, 16. Since we said it, we got to bring a scripture out on it. <laughs> For the leaders of this people caused in the earth. Yeah, the people that's leading you, they cause you to earth, man. They screw you up. We understand perfectly. They might not like us as leaders. They look at us and say, I don't know if I want that guy to be my leader. With that beard and all this. And you look at the stuff they're wearing. Brother ain't got no suit and tie on. He ain't clean shaven. Brother, not talking about religion. I'm not down with him. That's fine. That's cool. Because a lot of people are not going to get down with this. The Lord said he's going to burn a lot of people. He said he's going to burn a lot of people. He's going to kill them with fire and brimstone. Because they don't get down with this, right? Because they don't want to get down with this, right? Read on. Isaiah 9, 16. <laughs> For the leaders of this people caused in the earth. Right. And they that are led of them are destroyed. They're destroyed, man. They destroyed. So that's how this thing going to go, right? Read on. Isaiah 9, 17. Yes. Therefore, the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. Right. Neither shall he have mercy on their fatherless and widows. That, come on. For everyone is a hypocrite. Everyone is a hypocrite, man. Holding the Bible, running the church, calling yourself a Baptist, a Catholic, Episcopalian, or...